Hello everyone. I hope your exams are going good. In my previous video, we saw question 1 to 10 of class 10 CBSC Maths 2023 sample paper. And today in this video, we are going to solve question 11 to 20. So let's solve together. Question 11 is given that sine theta is equal to a by b, then what will be the cos theta value? So if you remember trigonometric identity between cos theta and sine theta, it is going to be a very simple question. Let's solve that. Sine theta is given as a by b and sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. That's right. So cos square theta will be equal to 1 minus sine square theta and cos theta will be equal to square root of 1 minus sine square theta. This is going to give you the answer. Because here we have to simply put the value of sine theta that is a by b. Now here you can see cos theta is equal to square root of 1 minus a by b square. And then square root of b square minus a square by b square. Simply we are solving it. Here what will it give? It will give square root of b square minus a square divided by b because b was b square. So b square and square root will be b only. So here the right answer is option c. Square root of b square minus a square by b. Question 12. Sec a plus 10a multiply by 1 minus sin a equals 2. Now here we have to do the conversion of sec a 10 a into sin and cos. That will be the easiest way to solve this question. Let's do that. So how we are going to do? Since sec a plus 10 a multiplied by 1 minus sin a is given, we will convert it. Sec a is equal to 1 by cos a. So we have put the value like that. And to convert tan A in sin A and cos A, it is sin A by cos A. It is multiplied by 1 minus sin A. Let's simplify it. It is going to give us 1 plus sin A multiplied by 1 minus sin A divided by cos A. And you know A plus B multiplied by A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. Here A is 1 and B is sin A. So 1 square minus sin square A divided by cos a it will be. Then do you remember that cos square a plus sin square a is equal to 1? So what would be cos square a? It is going to be 1 minus sin square a. So we can simply write 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a. That is what we have written here. Cos square a divided by cos a which will give you cos a. So the value of this is cos a. That is your option D. Question 13. If a pole 6 meter high casts a shadow 2 square root of 3 meter long on the ground, then the sun's elevation is. Let's simplify this through a figure. So here is the figure. Yeah. So you can see the pole is 6 meter high, that is AC. And then the shadow on the ground is 2 square root of 3 meter long, that is AB. And what we have to find? We have to find this theta. This is the sense elevation. What is given here? Here perpendicular is given that is 6 meter and base is given that is 2 square root of 3 meter. Now I hope you all know that what is tan theta? Tan theta is perpendicular by base. That is how we are going to solve this question and we will get our theta. Let's do that. Okay. So cos tan theta is equal to AC by AB. That is what we discussed, right? Perpendicular by base. Now let's solve it. What is AC? AC is 6. Tan theta equal to 6 divided by 2 square root of 3. Tan theta is equal to 3 by square root of 3, which is equal to square root of 3. So here, the square root of 3 we know that tan 60 is equal to the square root of 3. That is the value of tan 60. These all things you, are, you need to memorize everyone. So here we can simply write tan theta is equal to tan 60 degree. Now we got our value. 
theta is equal to 60 degree. The right option is option A. Question 14. If the perimeter and the area of a circle are numerically equal, then the radius of the circle is? These all questions are very easy. So, stay confident and solve it and do remember to revise. Let radius of the circle be R here. And what is given? Perimeter of circle is equal to area of circle. Then, do you remember the formula of perimeter of circle? We all know it is 2 pi r. And what is area of circle? It is pi, pi r square. Right? So, here pi will get cancelled by pi. r will get cancelled by r. The remaining on the left side would be 2. And on the right side it is going to be r. We got our value. R that is radius is equal to 2 units. So, right answer is option A. Question 15. It is proposed to build a new circular park equal in area to the sum of areas of two circular parks of diameter 16 meter and 12 meter in a locality. The radius of the new park is that is what we have to find. So, what is given? It is given that there are two circular parks. Okay. And their diameters are given which is 16 meter and 12 meter. And we have to, they are saying that when these two are combined together, that is how much big the new circular park will be. So, the area of new circular park will be equal to the sum of the area of two smaller parks. So, let's start solving. Let radius of new park be R. R1 is the first small circular park and uh, its radius will be di diameter divided by 2 which is 16 by 2, 8 meter. R2 is the radius of the second circular park, smaller one. Diameter is given 12 meter. So, it is going to be 12 divided by 2 that is 6 meter. So, we got radius of both the small circular parks that is 8 meter and 6 meter. Now, given is area of new park A is equal to sum of area of two circular parks, smaller one that is A1 plus A2. Here, we all know the area of circle that is pi r square. So, pi r square that is capital R is for the new park will be equal to pi r1 square plus pi r2 square. Or we can say pi r square is equal to Pi will take out as a common R1 square plus R2 square. Pi and pi will get cancelled. What will be R square? It will be sum of the square of 8 and 6 which is 64 plus 36 which is equal to 100. So, R is equal to square root of 100 meter. R is equal to 10 meter. And what was capital R? It is the radius of new circular park. We got our answer. That is option A, 10 meter. Question 16. There is a square board of side 2A units circumscribing a red circle. Okay. So, can you see the figure? This, consider this as a square board. And I have written the side as 2A. Okay. It is circumscribing what? A red circle. So, if this is 2A, and we all know the circumscribing means it is touching from all the sides. So, here this diameter of the circle will also be 2a. Then what will be the radius of this red circle? It will be a. Clear till now? Jaydev is asked to keep a dot on the above said board. That is the square board. The probability that he keeps the dot on the shaded region is... So, the shaded region is this one, which you can see at each corner. The region which is not occupied by circle. Okay. So, let's now solve this question. Since total area of board is equal to side square because it is a square board, right? So, it will be 2a square, which is 4a square unit square. Then, radius of red circle we already discussed is going to be 2a by 2 that is a. Now area of remaining shaded area how we will find? Simply we will subtract the area of red circle from this square board. So 4a square minus pi a square that is going to be the 
area of the remaining shaded region in the board. It is going to give us a square multiplied by 4 by pi, 4 minus pi. Now what is asked? Asked is the probability. So required probability is area of the shaded region that is the favorable outcome divided by the total outcome that is total area. So area of shaded region we have already got that is a square multiplied by 4 minus pi which we have written here divided by total area. What was the total area? It was 4a square. It was the total area of board. What we will get? a square will get cancelled by a square. We will get 4 minus pi divided by 4. That is the required probability and the right answer here is option B. 17. Two cards of hearts and four cards of spades are missing from a pack of 52 cards. Day. A card is drawn at random from the remaining pack. What is the probability of getting a black card? Here, let's understand the details of these playing cards. 52 cards deck is there. It consists of 26 red and 26 black cards. Within these 26 red and black, what is the segregation? It is 26 red cards are 13 red diamond and 13 red hearts and 26 black have 13 red spade and 13 red clubs. Now this is the information which we will definitely need. Now let's solve. Given that two cards of hearts plus two cards of spades are missing then what will be the remaining total cards because that is going to be the total number of outcome. Correct? Remaining total cards will be equal to 52 minus 6. 4 plus 2 is 6, right? So, 52 minus 6. So, the remaining total card now becomes 46 after taking out all the remaining uh, missing cards. So, it is 46. Now, let's understand the total black cards in 52 cards deck is generally 26. Here, it is mentioned that 4 cards of spades are missing. And we know that spades are black color and two cards of hearts are missing which is red color. That will keep aside because we have to only talk about the probability of getting a black card. So here the total number of black cards will not be 26. It is going to be the 26 minus 4 because 4 black spades are missing. So the remaining black cards becomes 22. Now we know that the probability of getting a black card will be equal to total number of the favorable divided by total number of the outcome. Here favorable is any, any divided by ns that is 22 divided by 46. That is our answer which is option B. Question 18. The upper limit of the model class of the given frequency is the table is given. That is height in centimeters and number of girls. Here we have to find the model class of the given distribution. So the one where the number of girls would be highest. That is going to be the model class of the given distribution. And then we will find the upper limit of that. But we will not simply see this table. Because this we can see it is clearly cumulative table. Here the cumulative frequency is given. We have to convert in the normal distribution. How do we do that? We will write the class and frequency. First one is below 140. Here we do not know the lower limit. So we will simply write below 140 and the number of girls would be 4. Then next class it is going to be 140 to 145 height. How we will find the distribution? How we will find the frequency? It will be 11 minus 4 that is 7. Same we will find the remaining also 145 to 150 height. It is going to be 29 minus 11 that is 18. 150 to 155 it is going to be 40 minus 29 that is 11. Then 155 to 160 centimeters it is going to be 46 minus 40 that is 6. Then last one is 160 to 165 centimeter height. The frequency will be 51 minus 46 that is 5. Now we got our normal distribution. Here we can see the highest number of girls like highest frequency is in 145 to 150 centimeter height range. So this is going to be the model class for us. 
and then we have to find the upper limit of it correct so upper limit of this is 150 lower limit is 145 upper limit is 150 so our answer is option d 150 Question nineteen. Direction in the question number nineteen and twenty, a statement of assertion that is A is followed by a statement of reason R. Choose the correct option. Now here, let's see what is the assertion. Assertion is total surface area of the top is sum of the curved surface area of the hemisphere and the curved surface area of the cone. Okay, fine. So what they are saying is. this total surface area of this top it is equal to the sum of the curved surface area of this hemisphere you can see this hemisphere and then the curved surface area of this cone correct so in a hemisphere one is this curved area and the other one is this flat area correct and in a cone one is this curved area and then again there is a flat over here now this top is made by joining the flat now here flat is not visible because it is joined right so only visible is the curved area of hemisphere and curved area of your cone and that is what is making the top so this assertion is absolutely correct because the total surface area of top is the sum of the curved area of hemisphere and curved area of the cone that is totally correct because the flat one is fixed together so there is no flat surface as of now here in this top so that's correct now what is the reason top is obtained by joining the plane surfaces of the hemisphere and cone together that is also absolutely right correct because this is the plane and that is what we joined of hemisphere and cone and that's where we got the top so our reason is also correct so both assertion and reason are true here the correct option is option a in 20 statement a assertion is minus 5 minus 5 by 2 comma 0 comma 5 by 2 and so on is in arithmetic progression statement r that is reason is the terms of an arithmetic progression cannot have both positive and negative rational numbers now let, let's first talk about the assertion okay and uh, let's see assertion is in given series that is minus 5 minus 5 by 2 0 5 by 2 how do we understand it is in arithmetic progression if it the difference of the two digits in the sequence is same so their difference needs to be the same the logic needs to be the same let's find the common difference term 2 will will minus by term 1 that is how it has to be so minus 5 by 2 minus minus 5 minus minus will become plus so minus 5 by 2 plus 5 will become 5 by 2 okay so the common difference from t2 minus t1 we got is 5 by 2 now let's see T3 minus T2. Now here T3, that is term 3, is 0. 0 minus minus 5 by 2. Yes, it is also 5 by 2. Now let's see term 4 and 3. It is so straightforward. Like 5 by 2 minus 0 is 5 by 2. So for all these, we are getting the common difference. That is 5 by 2. So this is definitely in the arithmetic progression. Common difference is equal for each term. So the series is in AP. So assertion is definitely true. Now let's talk about reason. The term of an arithmetic progression cannot have both positive and negative rational number, which is totally incorrect. Because in this itself we can see they are positive also. That is five by two and or zero, and then there is negative also. That is minus five by two minus five. So reason statement is false. here the right answer should be option c assertion a is true but reason r is false now with this we solved our question from 11 to 20 in the upcoming video we are going to solve from 21 to 30 so stay tuned and all the best for your exams